Hello Dynamics developers, uh, in this series of video we will discuss about the uh, form customization in Dynamics. So let's proceed. So form, form is basically associated to entity. So the, the form on the entity uh, will provide you the user interface to capture your business data. And I have drawn this simple diagram trying to explain like how the form works. So basically we know that in the dynamics we'll have this CRM database as a SQL database for the backend where all our data will be stored. So when we add the new entity for that entity the table will be, will be created in the CRM database. And we, when we will add the new attributes to that entity with respect to that and the new columns will be added to that table in the CRM database. So those tables or the columns can be represented as a form and the uh, form and the fields in the user interface. To capture those data, like uh, we can see the entity one, we are having the several fields, okay? And for those fields, we want to get the data uh, for the business. So what we will do, we will, in the application layer, we will design the forms and on the forms, we can place those columns as a field on the different position, how we want to display in the user interface. And when this form is submitted or saved, then the then those data which we have filled it will be captured into the database so anytime when we open the form then again the same data the data will be uh, read from this uh, table and it will display it into the user interface so we can have the uh, several entities and for that in each entity we can have the several forms so we can design for the different user uh, user interface so basically uh, uh, we can have the four different types of forms uh, the main forms quick v forms card form and the quick create form the main forms are basically used in the dynamics where we will capture we will have the uh, uh, data to be captured in the dynamics login user and it will have the uh, all the details or maximum uh, maximum maximum components we can use in our main form and the same main forms we can use as, as a portal form also. If you want to design your portal, CRM portal, and where you want to use a different form, uh, then that form we have to design as a main form. Uh, we cannot uh, we cannot uh, use quick create or quick view form uh, as a main form as to display the data on the portal. However, uh, we will use the combination of the main form and the quick view forms to display our data onto the portal also. So we can see uh, the demo of those things in the upcoming video, okay? So uh, basically main forms are used to capture the uh, data uh, on the dynamics where we have the all the uh, components, uh, all the properties on the forms which we have, we can use there on the main form. But uh, all, the comp all those components, all those components or the properties of the form, we cannot use in the quick view form and the quick create, quick create form. Uh, in the main form we can use that and the quick view form are used to display the data of the related entities uh, using the lookup value of the another entity so uh, say if you want to display the data of entity a and to the entity b then entity a should have the lookup on the entity b then we can use the uh, a quick view form of entity a to display data onto the b so likewise uh, i will show you the demo of this also in the upcoming video okay and the card forms are basically used to display the data when you have the uh, screen size as a small like the mobile or the tablet the smaller screen uh, where we have the requirement there we design the card form it will display the data in the very small format and compact format if you say in that way if you want to display the data then the card forms are used and the quick create forms are used uh, uh, to create the record with the small details from the uh, subgrid kind of the record where we have the related uh, relationships and from there we want to create the related records then we will use the uh, quick create forms so that was the quick introduction about the forms and then thing is uh, how how which solutions can be you know applicable for your uh, form designs so by default uh, in the system we'll have the default solution and if any solution when we add to the dynamics then we'll, those are called the uh, unmanaged solutions so in the default solution and the unmanaged solution for any entity uh, we can create the new form and if there is any existing forms we can design that 
but when we have the managed solution then we cannot create the new form or we cannot modify any existing uh, uh, any existing form so we should know that if if the interview they are asking you can we customize the any form in the managed solution then you should say no you cannot customize any forms or in we can we cannot create any new forms in the managed solution however in the default or the system solution and the unmanaged solutions we can customize the new forms okay now coming to the quick view form so here i will be showing you the, showing you the demo with the quick view form but before i go to the demo of quick view form uh, we will see the some theory about that so the quick view form allow you to uh, you know get the details of the related entities from the another entities as i have mentioned before so we can design multiple quick view forms but at a time only one quick view forms will, it will be added to the one particular form okay so it is basically associated to the one lookup field which is present in the target form where we want to display the details of the related entities so if the if in that lookup field if you have the value it means any record is selected then the deta details of that particular record will be displayed on the uh, quick view form if there is no record selected if the look lookup field is blank then there is no record then the quick view form will not be displayed okay however uh, when the data is displayed in the quick view form and you trying to edit that data it will not happen because this is being represented from the another entity it is from the related entity so you don't have the you should not have privilege to edit those ones because this this form is just is used to you to display you the details of the fields from the related entity so also uh, since this uh, QP form is used to display the details of the fields rather than you you know the using the header and footers or any navigations on the form we are having which we cannot use so basically the quick view form it will not show you the any header or footer or the navigation details on the forms it will just have the body section inside the body will have the fields to be placed how we want to display and those fields will be present in the single uh, column tab uh, we'll have only tab one tab there and so that will have the single uh, single column where we will we will, be, we will be placing our uh, fields there to display in the quick wave form and also if you want to uh, if you want to uh, put the security role on the quick view form it will not happen because uh, the it is not the main form uh, where we want to uh, specify the details to be uh, displayed in by the as we do for the main form because this form is being used inside the main form so that is why the security uh, security role is not a, cannot be used uh, for the quick view form so this was the theory about the quick view form now we'll go for the demo of that into my um, system here and this is my app uh, this is my app so i have the applicant student and application here and i having i'm having the uh, some other sitemaps here so what i what i'm going to do for the demo is uh, from the student we can see when we open any student here uh, inside the course details tab, I am having the lookup of the course applied for, and this is the lookup of the course entity. So there, I have the another entity called course. This is a lookup for that. So I want to display the details of the course when I select here, and it should be displayed here. So okay, this is the design I'm going to do that. So for that, I have to open my solution. So I have logged into my uh, here setting area uh, from the advanced setting, and I have opened my this uh, configuration solution. So this is my configuration solution. I am having here all those entities which I am working with. So here, uh, this is my entity. And on that entity, I have to display the uh, details of the course entity here. For This is the course entity. So on this entity, I have to design the uh, quick view form because uh, that details of from that forms, it should be displayed to the uh, details of the from the course entity should be dis displayed onto the student entity here so by default out of the box when you configure the new entity the the information quick view form will be created so i will be using this if you want you can create the new quick view form from here you can add the new quick, uh, quick view form here form from here you can have the multiple uh, quick view form but at a time it will be used by only one on the form okay so i'm going to modify this existing quick view form and here 
you can see we'll, we're not having the header here if you if you open the any main form you will have the header section you will have the footer sections and you will have the left side navigation section so we don't have here and also we don't have the security privilege where we can you know add the security roles on that form however we can use these some custom javascript some we can insert these some iframes if you want you can use those ones if you want if, if you want to space you if you want to do some special if you want to display some subgrid those things we can do but you know it is not as, as simple as, as similar to the uh, main form okay so here on this uh, uh, in this information form i want to display some details of the course so here i am having some details uh, say the du course duration and i am having the course uh, fee these two are the details of the course i want to display here and this um, uh, the honor field uh, uh, it will be present so let let it be there so i want to display with those ones so i have added those two new fields here and i, I will be using this course uh, information uh, quick view form in the student entity here so I'm, first i have to save and the publish uh, to make this change effective okay so my uh, it is published so i'll close this and i'll go to the student form here and in this since this is the student main form if you go to the student here this is the student main form and on the main form it is i am having the course details tab and, so, and there i am having the lookup of the course so i'll go to the main form here Okay, so my main form is loaded here. Okay, so here I'm having the tab course details and here uh, this is the lookup of my course. So with that lookup, I want to display the details of the course here. So in this section, so in, here in this section, I'm going to add the new quick view form. So I'll go to the insert and I'm having here option, uh, insert the quick view form. And when you see here, it is asking for lookup field, which lookup uh, field you want to display the a uh, quick view form so I will select my course applied for here this is the field name and then this is the entity name of that it is course and I will it will display me all the uh, quick view form which we have created for this uh, course entity so since I have only one uh, quick view form so I will select that one information and then I have to give the name here so I'll give course details okay and i will display the label also now you can see the quick view form is added here now I, once i will save this and publish and and when i will go to the uh, student uh, entity any record there and then i can see the uh, details of that one if the data is present so it is published now so i'll go to the my uh, any of the student here so let me refresh this course here so you can see uh, when i have selected this course it is it, the the field is i mean the details is displayed here in this section and the details of that one when i remove this value and now you can see the uh, quick view form will not be displayed so it will be uh, it will be visible only when you know the uh, lookup is having value to there because a uh, quick view form is related to the lookup field and expecting some data to be present into that field then only the related details will be populated here if the data is not there on the lookup field then this uh, quick view form will not be displayed on the form so i hope now it is clear to you how to create the quick view form and you can use this quick view forms to the different uh, forms there and you can use the same thing on the portal forms also so okay so i hope you have learned this one and thank you for watching this video guys